Hey guys, Bo HD here from How To and More, and today I want to revisit the Bose IE2 headphones. Now, if you've been following me for the last couple of years, you might remember I've reviewed these headphones before, but I thought I'd check out a brand new pair and see how they are in 2013. So, starting with the unboxing, let's give this box a nice little slice and unwrap all that plastic to uncover what's on the inside. The first item inside the plastic coffin is the Bose IE2 headphones instruction packet and black leather carrying case that holds these headphones and keeps them nice and protected. Underneath that comes some different sized earbuds with the curved tips, and then some standard warranty information. Now for the star of the show, the IE2 headphones pre-packaged on the outside of the box just waiting to be pried off. As you can see, they have the curved ear tips already installed. So just taking a look at what's included in the box, Bose is really generous by including a high quality leather carrying case, along with plenty of extra various sized ear tips. While the cost of these headphones is right around $100, you're mostly paying for the sound quality of the headphones themselves and not the accessories that's included, so that's good. If we take a look at the IE2 headphones themselves, you'll see they are made of a high quality plastic that is both good and bad. It's good because it allows these headphones to be very light, which will increase the overall comfort and will make them much harder to fall out of your ears, but it's bad in that they are more prone to breaking. So it really depends on how aggressive of a headphones user you are and if durability is more important than comfort. But comfort is absolutely huge with these headphones as they are essentially built around the curved tip earbuds that fit your ear and make it nearly impossible for them to fall out. They also boost the comfort level by distributing the weight around your ear. So before I wrap up this first impressions video, I want to stress the importance of the carrying case that comes with these headphones. If you use this case, you can really protect these headphones and make them last much longer, so I highly recommend using it. But overall, these headphones are obviously good enough to continue to be on the market for over three years now, and I highly recommend them to anyone who has trouble finding comfortable, high-quality headphones that stay in your ears and deliver a rich sound with a solid-sounding bass. If you want a full review of these headphones after I have some more time to test them, let me know in the comments, but my question for you guys is what is your favorite pair of headphones and why? Or what headphones are you currently using right now? Let me know down below in a comment, and you could be featured in my next video. So that about do it for this video. In my last video, I talked about the front-facing speakers versus rear-facing speakers on phones and tablets. If you haven't seen that video, definitely make sure to check it out down below and see what other people have to say in the comments. One last thing before I go, if you're a fan of personal blogs or vlogs, you can check out my casual vlogging channel called Bo Vlogs here on YouTube. I talk about technology on a personal level over there and even show you some behind-the-scenes footage of how I film my how-to and more videos. So if you like watching vlogs, you should definitely subscribe and say hello. But that's all I have to say for this video. I'm BoHD from How2 and More. Thanks for watching.